In a land where magic and reality intertwine, lies an enchanted forest shrouded in secrets. This is the story of three unlikely companions who find themselves lost in its mystical depths. Meet Lily, a spirited young adventurer with a heart full of curiosity. Finn, a mischievous forest sprite, crosses paths with Lily. As fate would have it, Arya, an enigmatic guardian of the forest, emerges from the shadows united by circumstance. The trio embarks on a perilous journey through the heart of the enchanted forest. Along the way, they encounter mystical creatures, face daunting challenges, and discover their own strengths. Yet, as their bond deepens, an ancient darkness awakens, threatening to engulf the forest. In their darkest hour, Lily, Finn, and Arya must stand together to save the forest from the encroaching darkness through courage, friendship, and sacrifice. They restore balance to the enchanted forest, proving that even in the face of darkness, the light of unity shines bright. And so, as the sun sets on their incredible journey, Lily, Finn, and Arya return to their worlds, forever bound by the magic they shared. And thus, the tale of courage and wonder comes to an end, leaving behind a legacy of friendship that will be told for generations to come. In this video, we will make the animation more interesting, from this quality to this. From a fickle character to a more consistent character. From boring to more interesting. Here I instruct ChatGPT to create a script for our story, yes, in English, of course, you can just copy the format. I typed, make a script from the story above, the script must be detailed about the narrator's voiceover, and each character's voiceover, and must have a visual description of each scene so that I can make images from those descriptions, to make a video story. Now we have a story in script format, there is a voiceover, and there are visuals or pictures for us to generate in Leonardo AI later. Next, we open the Leonardo.ai website, we just log in if we haven't entered the main page or register, if we haven't registered the email, we copy the chat GPT results that were generated earlier. Then you immediately select the drawing style, for example, I chose Dream Dream Shaper style. Then click generate with this model, but the script is from GPT-3 earlier. Here is the first scene in this visual description. So let's make sure it's in the Chrome column, but don't generate it first, we need other settings. For the number of images, I will use only two to save tokens. Then I chose the image dimension, which is 16, colon 9, because it's for YouTube. For other settings, I just leave them at their defaults. Then we click generate and we wait for the image to appear. For the first step, we copy the visual image obtained from ChatGPT. Then paste in the prompt column. Click Generate. So if the image results don't match, you can change or tinker with Chrome and try to generate it again, until you find a result that feels right. Now all we have to do is download it by clicking here. We repeat this step for all the scenes in our story. To create a consistent image or character, first in the prompt, give it the same name and description. Then the second trick here is that we can use the Image to Image feature in Leonardo AI. The way you scroll down in the menu on the left is you select image, to image, yes, you upload a picture of the character you want to make as a role model or which is the main character. After uploading, we click generate. The greater the image strength, the more similar the results will be to the image you uploaded. We can try first. Indeed, Leonardo AI cannot be 100% similar, yes, the character's face. But I think this is enough for an animated video like this. So here I found the right number for the image strength. The character is consistent, the actions match the instructions. Okay, let's continue with all the pictures in our narrative. After all the images have been generated and we have downloaded them, the next step is to make our images move so there is an animation. The trick is to type Liapix converter on Google. You just follow the steps, yes, this is the first look. You have to register first if you are using it for the first time or just log in with your email and immediately it will look like this. Here we upload the image that we downloaded earlier, yes, we uploaded the generated image in Leonardo here. Now, after the image is uploaded on the left, 
There are settings that we can adjust, such as the speed of the animation, the animation model, the direction of the movement and so on. You can explore and try it yourself. Here I just use the default because to shorten the time, the important thing is that the image has an animation of movement in it. After it feels right, you click share here and select MP4 for the type and click save. We wait until the rendering process is complete and our image will be downloaded automatically and turned into an MP4 or video file. Do this step for all images. After we have collected all the materials, now we will enter into the process of editing or creating our animated video. Here we can use any video editor, like Adobe Premiere Pro, or other editing, you can even use Canva, but here I will give an example using CapCut. Because for me personally, I use CapCut for every day, so it's better for transitions, effects, and so on. And there is another reason why I use CapCut, because it can auto-caption. So, after we enter CapCut and we import all the materials we have prepared earlier, we will immediately create the audio. For sound, we can use our own voice. You can also use text-to-speech. If you want English, all you have to do is enter the English into the text-to-speech. It depends on your taste and which country your channel is targeting. Here I will give an example of how to use TTS that can be done in this AI CapCut. Here I will make text-to-speech. We copy the results of the GPT chat and then we paste them in the CapCut by clicking on the text and pasting the narrator part. It's free here, you adjust your habits. Here I usually make the audio and remove or cut out the unnecessary parts or the silent parts first. I do this process until the audio is all finished first. We just export. Now, after the audio is finished, we enter a new project and insert the full video. Then enter the audio from the previous project by clicking the audio and selecting Extracted, then enter the audio video earlier that we exported from CapCut. We adjust the timeline with the audio, in short, you just adjust it. Once that's done, we'll add sound effects and back sound to make our story come alive. As for the sound effect, I immediately took it from the cap cut by clicking on audio and looking for it in the search for example, the sound of birds, we type bird for example, or the sound of the wind, and so on. Because the sound effect is safe, but for the back sound, don't take it from cap cut because it will be subject to copyright. So for the background, I took it from YouTube Studio. And make sure that it matches the mood of the video, happy, sad, scary, or whatever the mood is. After everything is in order, the final step is to add subtitles or captions. So, I mentioned earlier, why did I choose CapCut for video editing? Well, because of this, there is an auto-caption feature or automatic subtitles, so we don't need it after the video is finished. We put it in another application or we upload it to another website to make captions. No need, just one process in one application or one place, CapCut, so it's simpler and speeds up our video creation time. We just select the text here, then select Auto Caption, select English, and click Create. We wait until the process is complete. Now all we have to do is adjust the font, color, and other settings according to our taste. After everything feels good and appropriate, all we have to do is export the video, be our animated video. Now, let's watch a little of the animation video. But before that, if you benefit from this video, don't forget to click like. Hope it is useful. In a land where magic and reality intertwine, lies an enchanted forest shrouded in secrets. This is the story of three unlikely companions who find themselves lost in its mystical depths. Meet Lily, a spirited young adventurer with a heart full of curiosity. Finn, a mischievous forest sprite, crosses paths with Lily. As fate would have it, Arya, an enigmatic guardian of the forest, emerges from the shadows united by circumstance. The trio embarks on a perilous journey through the heart of the enchanted forest. Along the way, they encounter mystical creatures, face daunting challenges, and discover their own strengths. Yet, as their bond deepens, an ancient darkness awakens, 
threatening to engulf the forest. In their darkest hour, Lily, Finn, and Arya must stand together to save the forest from the encroaching darkness. Through courage, friendship, and sacrifice, they restore balance to the enchanted forest, proving that even in the face of darkness, the light of unity shines bright. And so, as the sun sets on their incredible journey, Lily, Finn, and Arya return to their worlds, forever bound by the magic they shared. And thus, the tale of courage and wonder comes to an end, leaving behind a legacy of friendship that will be told for generations to come.